What's good guys, Stanley Marklin here, I live there 4am, and today I just want to briefly talk about how big you can get as a natural bodybuilder or just as a natural recreational lifter. Now I'm just going to briefly talk about what the science says in terms of this and also give you my opinion on this top topic. Now with that being said, let's get right into this video. Now like the BMI, the fat free muscle index is just a formula and the formula is your fat free mass in kilograms over your height squared in meters. And what this will give you is generally a number between 18 to 26. And this 18 to 26 range is for natural drug-free lifters and people. So as you can see, an average fat-free muscle index would be 18. Once you go above 18, you're above average. However, once you go to the 23 to 25 range, you're in the excellent and superior category of the fat-free muscle index, meaning you're probably in the 90th to 95th percentile of all lifters who are drug free in terms of their fat free muscle index. Now can you get to above 25? In my opinion, I think it probably is possible for a very, very, very small select few individuals, but at this point, like I've written here, it's statistically irrelevant because for the majority of natural lifters, they're not going to get above a fat free muscle index of 25. Now when you go above 26, what studies have shown is that almost always the people who have fat free muscle index of 26 are anabolic steroid users. And I just want to point out that I'm not bashing people who decide to use steroids. I'm all for people doing what they want with their own bodies, and if you can do it safely and intelligently, more power to you. But for the sake of this video, I'm only talking about natural and drug-free lifters and bodybuilders. So with that being said, here is a perfect example of what you can expect if you are a beginner and want to see what the human body is naturally capable of achieving. I think Steve Rees is generally a good example of what a natural bodybuilder can aspire to look like. With that being said, given these stats, if you plug Steve Reeves' numbers into this formula, and Steve Reeves was 6'1", 215 pounds, it's really hard to say someone's body fat percentage without putting them in a DEXA scan because, to be honest, calipers and biological impedances, and obviously these things weren't around when Steve Reeves was in his prime. So you just have to estimate. So I estimate that Steve Reeves' body fat was 10%. So at 6'1", 215 pounds, and 10% body fat, Steve Reeves had a fat-free muscle index of 25.7. Now obviously this would place him in the superior to statistically irrelevant category, but Steve Reeves did have above average genetics. Now I know a lot of people are going to be thinking, oh this isn't even that big, but if you really look at Steve Reeves in pictures standing next to other people, he's quite big. So like I said at the beginning of this video, the main reason I wanted to make this video was to inform people who are just getting into lifting or into bodybuilding and who want to know what is naturally achievable for the human body. Now by no means do I want you to take this number or look at these numbers and use these numbers as crutches in terms of your goal saying, oh, I can't get, I can't have a fat-free muscle index over 25 or over 26, therefore, there's no point in even lifting because I want to look like the people on the Olympia stage. Well, if you want to look like the people on the Olympia stage, you're going to have to do a few other things that I'm not going to get into in this video, but you know what I mean. So if you want to look like that, then it's your choice and your decision, and you have to realize that you're going to have to go down a different route. However, if you choose to stay natural, these are the results you can expect, and in my opinion, I do think they are quite impressive. Steve Reeves, although he's not massive by any means, and he is not shredded because being shredded in that time was not really the aesthetic that they were looking for in bodybuilding, however, he does have an amazing physique. It's balanced, it's symmetrical, he's not overly developed in certain areas, and Steve Reeves, if you look at pictures of him next to other people, normal people, he is a pretty big dude. 6'1", 215 pounds is not small by any means. But I think the main problem, especially that people who are beginners and just getting into lifting have to deal with, is the skewed body image that the fitness community generally does not want to take responsibility for. And what I mean by this is that, let's be honest, if you want to become a bodybuilder or serious in the fitness industry, drugs are almost always going to be in the equation. But because of the demonization of drugs in America and the legal status of steroids currently in America, no one's going to admit to being on drugs, so we should just be pragmatic and use our minds here. If someone looks too good to be true, they probably are, and unfortunately that's just the way things are. So like I said, I really just wanted to make this video to inform younger people and people who are beginners and just getting into lifting how big you can actually get. Now there's one final note 
I want to address about the fat-free muscle index. That being that the fat-free muscle index only works when you're in contest shape. Now, if you're above 10% body fat, I would not even bother calculating your fat-free muscle index. In fact, I would say if you're not in contest shape, meaning you're at like 6% body fat, there's no point of using this calculation. It's irrelevant because the muscle wasting process of getting such low body fats hasn't begun yet. Don't try to calculate your fat-free muscle index if you're not in this body fat percentage. It's just a waste of time and it will skew the results. So that's the video guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. If you liked the video, don't forget to like the video, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.